Hey everyone, I'm your host, Shannon Fox, and you're watching Foxy TV. Thanks so much for tuning in, where today we're spreading a little love with Valentine's Day cheer. Today, can you guys believe we're already about like one week away from Valentine's Day? Well, my special guest today is going to help you finish off your Valentine's Day wardrobe with style and grace. She's a trend-setting jewelry designer, fashion stylist, time error specialist for movies and photo shoots, and is the owner of Carol Lynn Sweets Jewelry and Sweets Vintage Clothing. I'm so excited to have this incredible woman sitting here with me today. Welcome, you guys, Carol Lynn Sweets. Woo! <laughs> Hi, Carol. Thank you for being here. Hi, Shannon. It's great to be here with you today. Thank you. So before we take a look at your incredibly beautiful jewelry collection, I want the viewers to get to know you a little bit more. So we want to know who's Carol. So tell me, how long have you been a jewelry designer and fashion stylist now? I think I was a jewelry designer and fashion stylist from the time I was a little girl. Because I used to look at people and say, why are you wearing that? Let me, I can, I can, I can fix that. And, and, and the same thing with the jewelry, I would look at it and say, I would like to redesign that piece mm -hmm. in my mind. I did that ever since I was little. Mm -hmm. And so when I, it was a natural, uh, natural for me. I picked it up probably 15 years ago. Wow. You know, I started uh, doing it and then uh, professionally, strongly now for the last nine years. Wow, that's a long time. I didn't realize that you had been doing it for that long. Yeah. And I mean, for to start as a young kid, that's, that's actually really inspiring. Yeah. I was actually going to ask you, like, how did you know that styling and jewelry design is your calling? Like, how did you know that this is it for you? Well, I think uh, I used to play in my mother's jewelry box and tear apart her jewelry and, <laughs> and redesign it, which would get pretty mad. But it, it was it was something. It was just uh, I, I don't know the stones, the mm -hmm. the beads, the colors. It was it's pretty. Yeah, <laughs> it was just something that yeah. caught your eye. Yeah, I liked it. I yeah. liked it. So that's... now for you as a designer, and I always like to ask artists, no matter like what industry they're in. Where do you draw inspiration and, and get your creativity from when you're styling and when you're creating your pieces? Um, I get a lot of creativity from just Mother Nature mm -hmm. um, itself. And I really like to be outside a lot. And, and I notice things. I notice the different colors in the trees, how the colors are put together in nature, like with flowers, bugs, birds. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're all very colorful and they're they're so beautiful. Yeah, and I, I love that, the colorful pieces especially. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah I, I, and I love working with color, so. Now, yeah. speaking of colors and, and trends, we're early on in 2018. I know some people say there's always, you know, a different trend for every year and for every season. Do, do you kind of follow a trend or do you set your own trend? You know, I try to just do my own thing. I try to just stay within what, what's drawing me. And, and normally it's like what's coming out of the mines. So if you get, if you get like really good um, stuff from like different countries, Japan and different, you know, their, their stones and stuff that I use, mm -hmm. um, that's really what inspires me the most. And so when I get a good shipment of stones is kind of how I go with the trends that I do. Mm -hmm. and, and I do a little bit of everything. So I do chain work and and uh, intricate beading and you know so I kind of just stay within that and the stones kind of kind of lead me. Yeah, yeah I like that let the stones be yeah. a guide. <laughs> I like that I like that. <laughs> now speaking of trends you know Valentine's Day is coming up which by the way for people watching I can tell you Carol's stuff is absolutely beautiful and it will make for an absolutely amazing Valentine's Day gifts. Do you have any special pieces or maybe hot selling pieces or favorite pieces yourself that are part of maybe like your Valentine collection or anything like that? Well, you know, we're, we're all so different. We're all so different. So I like to take a little bit of everything, but I always tell people this, when you don't know what to wear and, and you're stuck, like I don't know how to accessorize this dress or this, or maybe you have a big print or, or this Valentine, you might have a printed dress and you're not sure what to put with it, you can never go wrong with pearls. Mm. So pearls is always your best go-to uh, for the perfect style. I like so. that, I learned something new today. Always yeah. go with pearls. I feel like 
that's something like it's so simple and, and classic and basic yet elegant and you're right it makes Amy look just transform like that that's right it, it'll transform your look and and you know sometimes it's hard because if you if you don't have the eye for an accessory or or really how to how to do it and a lot of women wear little tiny jewelry because they're afraid to make the commitment you know <laughs> yeah. but you can go a little bigger with pearls too yeah so you know that's just something to keep in mind pearls and chains yeah you know pearls i love chains. it go bigger go home <laughs> yeah. i'm, I'm all there with you <laughs> yes now let's talk about because i know you have so many different pieces and i follow you on social media and i've seen you be featured on so many incredible platforms and you have so many accomplishments from magazine spreads to having your mind shown in fashion shows and i know you had the international fashion show not that long ago yes, and, yeah. and pageant credits i mean this woman is incredible so i know you've talked about you know big pieces i've seen you your work has some of them are large, some of them are different sizes. So how do you pick like your styling? Um, well, it, it has to do with really what they're wearing. Like like, like you're, you're wearing your, your beautiful dress right here. Do you see you have really big earrings on? Mm -hmm. And you can do that look because your dress is very simple. Mm -hmm. So it's the platform that you're putting it on. I see. You know, if you have a, a plain platform, mm -hmm. It's, it's cool to add something big and maybe an architectural, you know, <laughs> jewelry. Yeah, and I think for me, it's like, you know, if you're a pageant girl, it's like you're used to like the big earrings and the, the blinked out stuff. Yeah, and I love that. <laughs> I, I just love that look in general. I think it's so pretty. And, yeah. You know, who doesn't love a rhinestone? Exactly. You can't go wrong with a rhinestone. <laughs> live a little. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> go now, for it. Let's talk about your recent post. Um, I know you posted about your magazine spread. You have like a, is it like a five or seven page spread? Uh, nine, a nine uh, page spread. Wow. In uh, actually two editions of Elegant Magazine. Wow. So, Congratulations, by the way. So check it out, Elegant Magazine, and uh, you'll see on there, uh, it's entitled Nordic Goddess. Okay. And um, all the jewelry that you see on there has been designed by me. That's incredible. Yeah. Nine page spread yeah. in a magazine is definitely an incredible accomplishment, I think, for any designer. Thank you, yeah, yeah, it really is. And, um, you know, it, it's it's about being out there and working hard and mm -hmm. you get to know so many people and that's, and you know, pretty soon you're just hanging out with people that want yeah. to do, want to put you on there. And you're like, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like, let me get my jewelry on you, sure. I like that. But you know, that's what it's about. I think networking, connecting with people, yeah. adding value, adding style. I think what you're doing is absolutely incredible. And not only that, you're styling as well. So that's like a, a double threat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I love it. I love to be able to, you know, come in with the clothes and the jewelry and, and just yeah. jewelry and clothe everybody up and yeah. make them look great. I mean, it, it's truly, you know, creativity at its best when you're able to really direct, you know, styling, clothing, jewelry, accessories. That takes a true talent and a, a real eye for for a look. And it's a lot to keep up with. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. Okay, so let's talk about for people watching and they're like, okay, I'm falling on a budget, I'm shopping on a budget. <laughs> how, how can they, how does that relate to your line? Do you have pieces that are affordable? Do you have high-end pieces? How does that work with your jewelry? Well, you know, I, I, I keep my jewelry very reasonable. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's really cool to um, to be able to go to my shop on on uh, on the web. You can, you know, go right there and you can get pieces one of a kind for like 45 to $125, mm -hmm. which most people could afford that. It's not like, oh gosh, you're gonna pay thousands of dollars for a, a one of a kind piece. Yeah. It's not necessarily true. Yeah. So and the and the cool thing is is that nobody else will have it. So. I was just about to say when you yeah. say one of a kind, the good thing about that is I don't have to worry about the next girl standing next to me wearing my same necklace or my same earring. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So it's more affordable than you think. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, if you think about it, you guys, if you make the investment in nice jewelry, it's something that you're gonna have for a long time. It's not like it's gonna wear out and you're not gonna have it a year later. It's, it's gonna be a good investment, right? Right, it's gonna be a great investment and the stones are valuable. So it, it looks very expensive and elegant. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I know you also mentioned, um, you talked about these will make not only great gifts for Valentine's Day, but you talked about as Mother's Day, as birthdays. Right, yeah. right. You know, it's, it's such a, a nice thing to be able to give somebody a one-of-a-kind piece. Mm -hmm. You know, so for your mom, especially Mother's Day, I do a big business because people want that little special gift, you know, yeah. that you can't get anywhere else. Yeah. yeah, yeah. so keep that in mind, you guys, as soon as we get past Valentine's Day. Now let's talk real quick about, you know, some of the looks that you have out today. Are these pieces that people can still order your time to wear for Valentine's Day or match with any kind of wardrobe for any time of the year? Right, right. I put a lot of neutral pieces out that you can, you know, mix and match with your wardrobe and and uh, they're available on, on um, my, my web page. Okay. So, you know, you can just go there and pick away. Choose okay. the ones you like. Okay. Now, just real quick, walk us through, like, the ordering process. So they go to your website, which is sweetsjewelry.com? Yeah, sweetsjewelry.com. Okay. Uh -huh. And then? And then you just go there, pick the one you like, and you can pay it right there through PayPal. Okay, and That's how easy. about like how long is shipping for those that if they want to get it fast, do they have different options or? Uh, shipping is free, so that's nice. That's good. Yeah, yeah, no cost for you. And uh, usually you get within a week. Okay, mm -hmm. see you guys, it's not too late to get that Valentine's Day jewelry. Yeah. Finish out your Valentine's Day wardrobe with style and grace. <laughs> Now, Carol, I wanted to ask you before I let you go, what's next for you? I know you're busy doing so many things and we talked about, you know, you having your vacation and downtime, but when the season gets busy for you again, what's what's next for you as far as projects, new collections? Right, I, well, I'm always working on new collections, um, but this year I am the jewelry designer for Miss California. Oh. So, so that's gonna be a, um, an interesting and big job. Oh, that's wonderful. It, which system is it? For USA um, or the United States? Uh, United States. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then also I'm going to be doing a whole opening act for Miss West Coast. So that's the outfits and the jewelry and so for that, for that pageant. Yeah. And uh, I'll be doing a lot of magazines and uh, and a couple of movies that I'll be working on. Ooh, wow, so stay tuned. I told you, you guys, this woman next to me is absolutely incredible, doing amazing things. Carol, you're so inspiring with what you do, and you're a true artist, and I think people can appreciate that. You know, at least people that appreciate art and expression and doing something different, something outside of the box. And the pageant, the pageant um, accomplishment is really huge, having your line and this California, that's pretty big. I wish I could have been one of those pageant girls. <laughs> uh, so just real quick, just we already know your social media, but for people watching that want to follow, that maybe want to work with you or book you for a show or a fashion show, or that want to buy your jewelry, how can they find you and contact you? Okay, so you can find me uh, at my webpage. You can go to sweetsjewelry.com. You can email me at uh, I'm a jewelry designer at gmail.com. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Carolyn Sweets Jewelry. You can find me on Instagram at Carolyn Sweets. And you can find me on Twitter at Sweets Jewelry LA. She's all over. If you didn't know, now you know. Carolyn Sweets Jewelry, that's what it's about, you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in with me today. Again, I'm your host, Shannon Fox. Thank you guys so much for wa watching Foxy TV. And hey, happy Valentine's Day, you guys. Mm -hmm. I'll see you soon. Bye.